Uh, hi there, uh, thank you for watching this video. So, th in this video, I'm going to cover this thing or acronym AEI or Asset Enhancement Initiative in Long. Okay, so where does this acronym AEI often come out? It often appears when you analyze REITs. Okay, in Long, it is for Real Estate Investment Trust. Okay, so what exactly is AEI? So, as literal meaning asset enhancement initiative, it means that certain initiatives that the REIT manager take, undertakes to improve or enhance the whole building. So what type of AEIs do I uh, look at or perhaps till now I have observed? Okay, let me just go to the Excel file. So uh, there are three types of uh, AEIs in my own view. So there's one that increases the NLA. NLA in long is net letable area. So if I to increase the NLA, it means that there's more space for merchants or tenants to take up. And definitely this uh, improves the gross rental revenue. Then there's another type, uh, which is the cost savings okay this improves operating building operating expenses and the third thing is that the, the, the facade it improves the beauty of the building so i have a preference uh, in this order number one definitely increase my NLA. number two cost savings and the third one is facade if you have watched my previous videos uh, i was comparing between Suntech, Starhub, SPH, and Fraser Center Point. At the point of recording this video uh, on the 18th July 2015, none of those reads were undergoing any AEIs. However, there was one read which I have vested interest in. It happens to have a AEI. So, straightforward. Number one, uh, increase NLA AEI, right? It's pretty straightforward but often uh, I really need to I really appreciate the investor relations of uh, Capital Commercial Trust to give investors such kind of uh, you know AI work in progress update so the read manager has a budget of 40 million you know if they do this AI they have an ROI of 7.8% and this is crucial why because I just want to make sure that my read managers have a realistic uh, investment horizon because as um, I as a unit holder I want to make sure that hey the 40 million that has been that has uh, flow out of the flow out of the read right what what type, what what kind of returns are we uh, expecting uh, to recover you know to recover the cost if the budget indeed was 40 million so since it's 7.8 percent i guess you take 14 and probably 14 years but it may also be shorter so do check with your read manager uh, regularly okay so if when you uh, so if you have read right just make sure that okay find out the progress of those aeis with your read manager so back to the second type of uh, AEI that I like is this cost saving. Recently in Singapore, um, we Bugis Junction built solar panels over their buildings. Okay, so recent there's always a uh, green buzz about uh, seeking alternative energies to uh, to improve the building efficiency. Okay, this is the second type that I really really love. And really thank, give credits to REC and also Boogie's Junction and uh, the REIT managers involved in Boogie's Junction. So they built the solar panels. Okay, these are the type. Why? Because uh, this kind of savings, you know, since the solar uh, solar energy to uh, offset partial electricity bills, you know, you can pass on all these uh, some sort of like savings or savings to the tenants because. 
since tenants have a uh, have a stake in the whole building, if they're able to receive cost savings, right, it could mean that um, you know it helps to boost up the tenant retention rate. You know because the tenant feels that okay, all the initiatives uh, that are being carried out by the REIT manager, it helps them eventually. Okay, so the last one is uh, facade. Okay, normally it is to beautify the whole building and. For example, the Capital Commercial Trust, if I can classify, I guess this would be the type of like uh, facade, like you see restrooms being refurbished, passenger lifts uh, being upgraded, you know, uh, main mezzanine lobby upgraded, uh, security enhancement, ah, then there's one, uh, chillers replaced and upgraded. So it, it improves uh, improves the cost savings also. So whenever, uh, so if you have, if you right now you hold on to read, just, uh, just spend some effort, look at the type of AEIs, classify whether today fall into any of these three, okay, there may be more, uh, and how this translates, okay, uh, it means uh, all this translates into uh, more distributions for the unit holders. So I hope that this short video uh, did give you a, um, did give you a guide, some sort of like an idea of how I look at reads. Okay, what are the things that I look at? Thank you very much for watching and see you soon.